And to what? And what, what would you do if someone came in, like for, they booked in for an initial assessment, and uh, they go on a holiday, maybe in a week, uh, they've hurt the lower back, and they feel like they're out of position, and they might say to you, oh, I, just, I just want my back putting back in. Um, I'd normally see a chiropractor, but, um, you know, as I say, I just need it putting back in position, I just need it clicking, making it feel better before I go away. How would you attend to that? We get that sometimes, from time to time in here. You tend to get it in the summer and Christmas as well, don't you? It's like, I just need a couple, I'm, I need a couple of sessions before Christmas kind of thing. Tim? Um, just two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's one option. Um, so, uh, uh, an important point to remember, I think, is that you can sometimes get amazing results by actually just like forget about your official background and basically just do what people tell you to do and then you can say like you can go into the to the whole conversation of of course we can do this for you and and we can we can ease your pain before you go on a vacation but i just want to let you know that if you want to get to the root cause of this problem i would like to see you when you get back from your vacation so we can like we can dive deep into this, mm -hmm. get rid of the root cause, and we can like get you back doing the things that you love to do, mm -hmm. like in the long term. But of, of course I can do this for you mm -hmm. before you go on a vacation so you can enjoy your vacation. Yeah. I, I agree, it's a good point. Yeah. That it's very easy for us to sit and say, well, yeah, oh, we're not seeing you because we only do plans of care or whatever, and, and that's not really what we're here for. It's, it's we have a step-by-step -step process that we want you to go through, because we know you'll be successful, but look, if, you, if you're getting on a flight in 10 days and you want two sessions to quickly fix it, then cool. The only slight caveat I would change would be, it wouldn't be, I want to treat you. That said, this has just come from the last few years where I've been sort of studying psychology and sales and stuff. I think in the past I'd have gone, oh, I'd love to see you for six sessions when you come back and I think it's a good idea and you know, go on holiday and come back. Now I wouldn't, I'd just take it away from them and go, do, do you want to live like this for the rest of your life? Like, what do you want to do? Do you, do you want to come back and see me after Christmas? After, after, your, after your vacation? Because I can sit here and tell you, but I know it doesn't have any much in any way close to me getting you to acknowledge for yourself that you actually want to do it. And I'd be confident enough now, I would never have been back then to actually have that type of conversation that goes, look, absolutely, I'm gonna nail this out the park for you so you can get on that flight and, and you'll be on the, on the flight. But look, let me ask you this. How long has this gone on for now, Tim? Eight years, all right. Do you want this to go on for the rest of your life? No, all right. Can we get this sorted when you come back? Yes. Sure, I'm a busy guy, but I can fix this for you, but I need your commitment. At that point, I've just changed the game. The, the, the trust, the dynamic, the this guy's no bullshit. Like he, he, he's not trying to get me down to do something. He is in my best interests, explaining to me what I need to do to move forward. The, 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 there is a population, because if you ask that question, are you had enough of this? Not really, all right, cool. Come back when you have. Because we're assuming that everybody, and this is again, the, the slight subtleness in the, in the, in the change. We're all assuming that everybody gives a shit enough to want to keep doing something about it. They don't. They don't. None, and none of us can, can force that on anybody. What we can do, do you want to change? Yeah, I do. Cool, I'm your guy. Let's get going. Dentists, all the time. I, I was often refer back to the dentist. The, um, Vicky used to work at the dentist, but it was literally like pulling teeth. Like literally, sometimes trying to get people to do shit that they needed to do. So, like, well, if you got this done, you know, you, you'd be well advised to get this done. Now I'll just leave it for a bit longer. But if one of them actually went, look, do you want to keep living like this? Do, do you want to spend your entire next five to 10 years of your life in and out of this place with injections in your mouth every however long, getting it drilled and getting whatever, or we can just solve this once and for all. It might cost a bit more money and it might be a little bit of an inconvenience for a month, but we can actually solve this damn thing. What do you want? Well, now you've put it like that. And now you let me make the decision. And now you've pointed that out. I'll play ball. The approach that most people take is, I think you should come down and I want you to book an appointment and I want to see you when you come back off holiday. You're assuming that I want to come and see you. And until you have that conversation with me, I probably won't. But I wholly agree. 
that if somebody come down, I just want a quick fix. No, I only want one or two sessions. That's all right. That's no problem at all. Like, I'm, I'm going to sort this out for you. But let me ask you this. Do you want this to keep going on? Stop. You must stop. Like, back to the, to the talk we've had a few times, like, do you want to get this done, like, the easy and fast way, or do you want to get it done the proper, yep. like, the proper way? Yeah. Yeah. The questions will change literally your life that you ask. They'll change their life as well. That, that a lot of people just don't ask the question. It's, I want you to come back and see me. And I think you should come back and see me, but you're telling me. You're not empowering me. You're not getting me to, to kind of dance with you side by side. You're dragging me and you're telling me and, and I'm riding on your, you know, you're a, you're a healthcare professional and yeah, I know you're right, but until you get me to face up to it, I, I ain't coming down. And I'd, I, again, it's a confidence thing. I'd be open to if they go, no, all right. G g just give me a ring in a few weeks when this happens again. There's the express card to, to, to book back in. And then over a period of time it is, right, are you ready yet? No, nope. all right, see you in a couple of weeks. Literally, it's happened with me with the, with the dentist for years. He's like, you ready to get this tooth sorted? I was like, no, no, just keep drilling it, just keep doing whatever. He's like, all right. And then eventually he goes, look, I, let me ask you about your life. Uh, you, you live in America now, are you in and out of America? I said, yeah. So have you ever thought about what would happen if uh, if that tooth went off while you, you know, a day before you had to speak on stage or you're in the middle of bloody Arizona and you didn't know where the dentist was? I was like, book me in. <laughs> it just changed the conversation. That, that, that completely, by the way, changed the relationship I have with my teeth. Because he made me realize how valuable this is. That it isn't just about the tooth. It's about the situation I'm in in my life if the tooth fucks up, if I have a problem, to the point where now I'm going in on, 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 on Saturday morning to get three fillings taken out and put back in just because they've been in long enough that they're gonna start hurting soon. Let's just get it done before it does. But you're talking to a guy who for five years was like, no, 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 little as possible, just drill it. Oh, I'll be back if it's a problem. I was the classic, just quick fix me. One conversation, one question really, I could pin it, pinpoint the two, that there was a, a, a moment where it changed where I went, I get this now. I get it. Thanks for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, and if you now find yourself thinking, I wonder what else this person can help me with, head over to paulgoff.com forward slash books, where you can find my best selling books, which will show you how to add more profit to your practice. Or send an email to paul at paulgoff.com to ask about how we can help you accelerate the growth and profitability of your clinic. And by the way, if you know anybody who would find this helpful, please share this video out. Thanks so much.